We have a model for supporting people who are living outside and want to move into something else that keeps them outside of the, the shelter system that they've really had no good experiences with. We're filling in the gaps where the city is leaving us behind. Um, let's see, we have uh, less than 15 people staying here right now. Um, we've had upwards of 25 at any given time, but um, many people have moved into housing or have moved off to different sites. Um, we have portajons that are being donated by got to go Portable Sanitation. We don't have to pay for these, which has been wonderful. Um, we're so grateful. Um, we pay for Rumkey service for our trash to ensure that we keep the site clean. Um, but we've also received a lot of support from uh, church groups. Um, one rented a dumpster for us that we've been using to clear up the site of stuff that was here before we even got here. And this structure behind us is, is meant to replace our collapsing kitchen slash food storage tent. Um, it first fell down in the in the first couple days we were here during a windstorm and it's been collapsing ever since. So we were hoping to to build something at least semi-permanent to replace it with to keep our food safe and away from animals. What happened? Uh, then we got a stop build notice <laughs> and we, we had to stop building. Um, we made a few amendments to be more in compliance with what the city was requiring, but they informed us that we weren't allowed to have a temporary structure without a permanent structure for it to be associated with, and so it wasn't, wasn't allowed. Um, but we, we feel that the reason it became the biggest issue for the city is because it indicated that we intended to stay here. It indicated an intention towards permanence, or at least something close to that, and I think that scared them.